I used to, I used to do this. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'm out of practice. <laughs> okay. How do you balance a round ball on another round ball? <laughs> okay, hopefully that will stay. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this morning I woke up thinking, what am I going to eat today? Food is the most important thing. And I have to share some very important news with you. If the ships stop coming, the planes stop coming, the stores run dry three weeks, a month, pretty soon your neighbor's arms and legs would start looking very appetizing. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually, we would starve or resort to cannibalism. But not this island girl. I grew up on the island of Jamaica, and Jamaica, like Hawaii, food everywhere. And I had a big culture shock when I first came to Hawaii seven months ago on vacation. I had moved to the United States in 1996, and I lived in California, and I decided to move to Hawaii, like I said, seven months ago. And I miss my home, I miss my country, but I miss the food. My mom's cooking, and when I visit home, I don't go anywhere. I stay at home, lounge around, just waiting for my mom to serve those delicious dinners and breakfasts and lunches. <laughs> and so last, when I first moved last fall, my friend invited me to Thanksgiving. So I, I want to share what happened last Thanksgiving. I walked over to the house on the big island about two acres of property with lush green vegetation. And I arrived, and in the kitchen, Auntie was stirring gra um, powdered mm -hmm. gravy. And next to the stove was a stovetop uh, box stuffing, the stuff they make for Thanksgiving. So I walked out on the lanai, the veranda, and I was like, whoa! Right there, a huge, majestic breadfruit tree. Green ones, ripe ones, black ones, every kind of ones ready to be eaten. So I ran out, climbed up in the tree, and within minutes I had about a dozen breadfruit, and I made a fire from wood around, and an hour later, tender, bread-like fruit was laid on the table. Now breadfruit, you can boil it or um, roast it like a potato, but when you roast it, it becomes this nice, have you had French bread, that warm, hot, with lots of butter? That's what a roasted breadfruit looked like. So I had this laid on the table. Guests came. The prayers were, the food was blessed. First, seconds, thirds, doggy bags. No one ate the breadfruit. <laughs> I want to share another story with you on the Big Island, too. So I'm driving by me and my friend are just checking out the Big Island. And there was another familiar tree, spun around, and there it was, the Aki tree. And I said, oh my goodness, I was so excited. The Aki is Jamaica's national dish. And it, when, when you cook it up with peppers and tomatoes and onions and thyme, and, and it's like the scrambled eggs, and with some slices of breadfruit on that, that's what a national dish is for breakfast, lunch, dinner, any time of day. I missed that. So I thought, let me do some research and see where else on the islands of Hawaii the Aki grows. Come to find out, the University of Hawaii has specimens of the Aki tree. The same Aki tree that's Jamaica's national dish. <coughs> University of Hawaii, a renowned Arboretum and Botanical Garden has labeled the Aki poisonous. If my national dish, the same Aki that William Bly, who went around the, earth, uh, the world in the um, colonial times, and he brought specimens of all these plants from different places and planted them all across the islands, the same William Bly who brought the Aki, Blaya Sapedia, to Jamaica and to Hawaii. Why is it poisonous in a way? Is it that 
we don't know how to prepare food so that it's delicious. Just like lobster. You wouldn't kill it before you cook it. It's poisonous then. So with EcoEffect television, radio show, every day I try to educate people about the things that are around us that we can use, our natural resources, our food. I just went over right now and picked this breadfruit. I'm going to cook it for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> that is what I'm talking about. So <laughs> if the ships stop coming, the stores go dry, you and I may not have to start eating each other. <laughs> <laughs> we may know how to prepare the breadfruit and the aki and the coconut, which is a good gravy to dip this breadfruit in later on. I'm just so excited to share that with you. The breadfruit, the aki, fruit for thought. Right.